In this section, we're going to talk about how to account for inventory. Inventory is items that we have bought with the intent of reselling them. When we buy inventory, it is shown as an asset on the balance sheet. It will be a current asset on your balance sheet. When that inventory is sold, it becomes an expense and we call that expense cost of goods sold. So you need to know the difference between inventory and cost of goods sold. Inventory is the cost of the items that we have purchased and we have them on hand to resell to customers. Once that inventory is sold, it is a cost of goods sold and cost of goods sold is an expense account. Sales revenue minus the cost of goods sold is called gross profit. Sometimes it's also called gross margin. Sales revenue is based on the selling price of the item that we sell. Cost of goods sold is based on the cost of the inventory item that we bought. So the cost of goods sold is based on the purchase price we paid for the item that we sold. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say that we have an inventory account with no beginning balance of inventory. During the period, we purchased 100 cell phones for $50 each. That is our inventory. We bought it with the purchase resale, and these 100 cell phones cost us $50 each. So our inventory account would increase by the amount of our purchases, which is $5,000, and we'll assume that we paid cash for that. So your cash would decrease by 5,000. How we got 5,000 is 100 cell phones multiply by 50, that is $5,000. Next, let's say that we sold 90 of those 100 cell phones we had in our inventory and our selling price for each cell phone was $150 each. Now we have to record journal entries for this transaction. Whenever we sell an inventory item, there are all two transactions that occur simultaneously and we need to record both those transactions. The first transaction relates to the sale of the phones. The second transaction relates to losing the inventory item. We gave away the inventory item, so we need to record that as well, which is the cost of goods sold. Let's first look at the sale of the 90 cell phones. When we sell something, it is revenue. So our revenue account is our account that's going to be affected. We're going to debit cash. Assuming it's a cash sale, we're going to debit cash for 13500 and credit revenue for 13500 How did we get at 13500 We multiplied the 90 units by $150, which is the selling price for our cell phone. Next, we have to do cost of goods sold. We don't have 100 cell phones in our inventory anymore. We sold 90 of them, so we need to do the journal entry for that transaction. How much did those 90 cell phones cost us? The 90 cell phones cost us $50 each for a total of 4,500. So we need to adjust our inventory account. The two accounts affected are inventory and cost of goods sold. And what we will do is debit cost of goods sold, which is an expense account for the amount of the cost of goods sold, which is 4500 And then we will credit inventory account for cost of goods sold of 4500 Sales revenue and cost of goods sold will be shown on your income statement. Along with sales revenue and cost of goods sold, on the face of your income statement, we will show what our gross profit is. Sales revenue minus cost of goods sold is gross profit. And in this particular example, you would have 13,500 as sales revenue, 4,500 as cost of goods sold, and then you will have a gross profit of 9,000 in your income statement.